I am Zofia Rose Mujay. So I'm like 50% uh, Aboriginal and 50% Polish. You know, my First Nations band is from Fort St. James, and here I was growing up in Stalo territory. My generation that came before me, my mom and my grandma, and them having a loss of cultural identity. I experienced it too, but not in a way where I was being forcefully withheld from it. It just uh, was something that I had to make more of an effort to seek on my own, and every time I was in it, it was where I wanted to be. I mean, I was 14 when my social worker took it upon herself to buy me a guitar. If I didn't have music, I think I would still be spinning my wheels in a lot of ways, just kind of not really knowing where to go, what to do with, with who I am. And uh, I want to be that light in some other teenager's life. There were a lot of times when I felt like giving up, where I felt like I was in purgatory, like I was in such a hellish state, or that I had gone too far doing the wrong thing over and over and over again and not knowing what it was that I did wrong and feeling so uncomfortable with how I looked and who I was and so at a loss for want of that connection to my culture that I, um, I was quite scared and quite lonely for a very long time. Because uh, growing up in plastic hair is not always easy. I mean, I was luckier than most, but I had a whole slew of like mental issues that uh, it wasn't really ever appropriate for anyone to kind of approach me and to talk to me about them, like in therapy and whatnot. But it just there there wasn't a whole lot of people who took a special interest in my case because I kept everyone at arm's length. I didn't want to lose people after I've just fallen in love with them. So. The first social worker I had who really did some, some good for me, she, she bought me my guitar. I can do my music and use that, uh, that kind of confidence that I have gained through music to kind of sift through and point out the good aspects that a young developing teenager has uh, within themselves and I can help empower that so and inspire that confidence for them to be healthy and happy once they age out of the system and the government's like, that's it, you're on your own, get a job, pay your rent. You know, some kids are totally unprepared for that. I was unprepared for that. And um, if I can be anything like the social workers I've had that were great to some other teenager, I think that I would be very fulfilled. family name, like, that's the Lucilio frog from the clan. Yeah, so that's uh, a sign that's right over the bridge that takes you into our band lands, which, this is the bridge, and it's so pretty. It is like, see, look at that, it looks like paradise. 